Good morning from Bangkok, Thailand. So this is actually my first full day on this trip to Southeast Asia. Uh, I think I take this way. So one thing I already noticed, so I arrived yesterday in in the morning actually, but I wasn't really in the mood for filming was too jet lagged and too overwhelmed by everything so today is my first full day and one thing I can already tell you is that it's sometimes difficult to get around walking because the streets are when you look here they are really narrow and yeah actually there are no sidewalks so I think most people really only use um, the taxi or something else. So, but <coughs> maybe it's different in other regions of in other regions of this city. So this is just a random street, actually the street where my hotel is located. I'm not yet sure, but maybe it's not the best location, but I will tell you about that a little bit later, I think. And what I'm going to do today, at least what I've planned, is to take a boat, a water taxi or something like that should be a station near this place and then I'm gonna gonna go to the city center and the main plan for today is to to visit some of the temples Look at these electrical installations here. <laughs> okay, over there should be the canal and this is where these boats are going. So let's see if it works out to catch one. Here we are at the canal and there should be some kind of pier probably on the other side of that bridge so over there let's have a look okay this seems to be the pier and i'm wondering how to get there okay so you can see this path over here seems to be it. It's a little bit hard to find. So, okay. Not really what I expected, but hey. Let's hope I can catch a boat here. That water taxi. But I have to say that I don't really know where I need to go. So I think I'm gonna just gonna check on Google Maps where my location is and then I decide to get out somewhere. Just 
from my European perspective. Take the station here as well. Not really sure, but can't really get that wrong. So that ride was quite cheap. I think it was less than 50 cents. Took about 10 to 15 minutes from my hotel. Looks a little bit different here from where my hotel is located. And I believe over there this might be Wat Saket, which is the first temple, or at least something like a temple, which I'm planning to visit. So I was a little bit mistaken. This is not Wat Saket, but still, it's quite a nice temple or whatever. Okay, Let's get a little bit closer. So, I have to admit that I am quite clueless about the meaning of these temples. I, I even don't know at what time period they have been built, but this doesn't really seem that old. I think I have to do some reading in the, in the afternoon, in the evening today. Maybe I should have done this before, but yeah. That's the way I travel. I prepare a little bit, but not too much and try to find out things on, on the go. So this up there is Watsake and the reason why I didn't notice it straight away is because obviously it's being renovated. So this is something that happens to me all the time. I go somewhere and the thing is being renovated or even completely closed. But at least you can you can get up the stairs as it seems and supposedly have a great view over the whole city. There's a lot of shrines around it. And look at that. Absolutely no idea what this is. Probably it is supposed to bring you luck if you buy one of these golden leaves. This is the way up to the Golden Mount or what Saket. A lot of people taking selfies here. So I just paid 100 baht, which is something like 2 euro and 50. But this is only for foreigners. The locals can go up there for free, as it seems. Yeah, 
No idea what this guy is talking about. Probably something about the meaning and the history of this place. So it's supposed to be something like, I don't know, 900 or 1000 steps. But actually the steps are tiny, maybe half the size of the steps I am used to from Europe. Okay, already a great view on the skyline of Bangkok. Keep your shoes on. I think this is already the top. So it really wasn't that tough to get up here despite the temperature of about 30 degrees. Great view here. Okay, let's go inside. Please don't take your shoes off. So there was actually another level up here. Great view again and some nice wind here, just cooling a little bit. Unfortunately, you really see close to nothing of the actual golden mount, or the golden tip of this place. But look something like that, only larger. See a lot of nice details here and look at these plants. Actually quite a beautiful place here. Some kind of market here. Let's have a look. Not the famous one, as far as I can tell. Okay. Let's 
actually have no idea what we are selling here, except fruits, of course. It looks like I was a little bit wrong, so this is... Seems to be not just a market, some some kind of, I don't know, spiritual place as well. And what they are selling seems to be some kind of equipment for this place. I'm going to the Grand Palace next, which is over there. On the other side there is some government building. Restricted area. Photos must be taken respectfully. That's what I'm going to do. Well, it looks quite promising, the Grand Palace. Hope I can get inside. So I'm inside the Grand Temple. Ticket price was 500 baht, about 12 to 13 euros. And that's about five times the price which I paid at the Golden Mount, but I assume that it is okay for what you can see here. And I have to say, already looks quite incredible. Place is really crowded, of course, but yeah, it's a Sunday. And actually, that's of course what you have to expect when you get to a place like that. I already can say that this place is absolutely incredible and it's definitely worth the entrance fee. No matter how crowded it is. You really don't know where you should start. Let's have a look at this one.
the one thing you need to know about visiting places like that and that can make it a little bit tough during this hot weather is that you have to wear long trousers at least you need to you need to have your knees covered and also your shoulders otherwise you won't get in here so as you can see everybody everybody is wearing long clothes <laughs> No photographs, okay. Well, I just came out of the, it's called the Great Pagoda. It's about four guys standing around there shouting no camera no photo so you're not supposed to photograph or film there which when you look at all these people taking selfies and vloggers like myself who are even worse they have quite a difficult job On the other hand, I'm not really sure why it is so important not to take photographs in there. Hope that I can find my shoes. It yeah, seems like I'm going into the wrong direction, but... Here they are. Just left the inner area of the Grand Palace. There is um, another palace here. Terribly unprepared, I have to say. So, getting a little bit quieter here, less crowded. Did you want to wash them? Uh, that's a really nice garden. <coughs> so what I want to say is that it's definitely a must-see. If you, if you go to Bangkok, you have to go here. Otherwise, you cannot see. You cannot say you have been to Bangkok. Also, it's really badly crowded and you know there are all kinds all different kinds of cultures with uh, different habits different culture of how close they get to one another and that, that makes it especially bad but it's definitely worth it That seems to be the exit. <laughs> Just entered the third temple for today. This is called Wat Four. We don't know how it's pronounced. Maybe just like the Vietnamese dish. Maybe it's what for. I don't know. So anyway, the 
entrance fee for this one is 300 baht, about 8 to 9 euro. So visiting these places in Bangkok is not really cheap, but still they don't have prices like, say, in Italy. <laughs> This place is known for the reclining Buddha, which you can see a little peak from here. Actually, not sure if you are allowed to film inside. Oh, not sure. Oh, there. People are doing some of those gold plating onto the things. Interesting. Different system here. You also have to take off your shoes here, but they give you some bags. You can put your shoes and take them with you. This is huge as well. Look at all these spooky ones. It's not only about this reclining Buddha, which of course is the main attraction, but aside from this, this is also a very beautiful place. by far not as crowded as the Grand Palace. So every one of these Buddhas seems to have a different face. I can say that I like this place even better than the Grand Temple. It's just as beautiful much less crowded. Maybe not exactly as spectacular, except for the reclining Buddha, but this is also a huge area of temples, stupas, gardens,
Time to take up my shoes. To go in here. actually dressing up here for selfie shooting Finally found a place where you can have a look, a view on the river, which is actually not as easy as you might think, at least in the region where I was. Okay, I think I'm not supposed to walk around here also, it would be interesting. So I'm having some kind of late lunch. It's fried noodles with pork and a beer for around 7 euro. This is a very improvised place here, right at the river. So it's a little bit loud, there's just a boat coming by, but the food is really quite tasty. One of the famous marketplaces here. And this is really huge. Don't even know what all these flowers are used for. So this market is so huge that some people even take bicycles or motorcycles to get around. really no idea what these, what these flowers are for. 
probably some kind of festivity which is taking place. Going this way. But uh, there is also a lot of vegetables and probably also meat in a different place of this market. I really could keep filming for hours. <laughs> there is so much going on here. like there is another shrine here with a golden Buddha statue in it. So that's different kinds of ginger, kurkuma. Not only one kind as in Germany, Okay, so I was wrong. This is obviously not a Buddha, it is something else, whatever. So it's it's actually quite hopeless for me to even try to understand the, the, uh, the essentials of this culture. There's a quite well-equipped outdoor gym here in a park in the center of the city. Actually, it would be good for me to do some exercise, but I'm not really in the mood for that at 34 degrees or something today. So, finally, let's wrap it up for today from this nice little park near the Golden Mount, near Bad Saket. Saket, I think is the correct pronunciation. So I have visited three temples today and I think that is perfectly okay if you stay here two days or longer. If you only stay one day, maybe one or two should be enough. But for two days it's perfectly fine. I have also been walking around a lot in this city and I need to say I'm still absolutely overwhelmed. So there is so much going on, especially things that you don't really, don't necessarily understand being a Westerner and being here for the first time. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's really an experience and it's, I have to say that it's not super approachable, accessible for a Westerner. So you have to look around, especially I found it pretty hard to find places where you can have like authentic food. Um, but I think I'm gonna find out tomorrow. I've actually seen some, some nice places, especially in, uh, in some Asian style shopping malls. So by Asian style shopping mall, I mean those with small little shops, local shops, not the big chains. And there were some quite tasty looking food uh, stalls. So, yeah. So it's maybe a little bit diff difficult to find the right places to go. Uh, but actually it's no problem here. It's all really relaxed. And even if you behave like the greatest idiot, it's still okay. People are still friendly. 
I'm not sure if they think you're an idiot, but, but they behave friendly and I think they also are. So that's it for today. Day is not finished. Let's see what I'm going to do. So I think now I'm going to back, go back by this water taxi, by this boat, which is really a nice way of transportation. And maybe do some video editing today. Maybe I'm also gonna do a little room tour in my hotel, but I think that's too much for today. So, hope to see you next time, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a few days from Vietnam. Bye-bye.